In this video I'll show you how to get started uh, and what tools we need. So the first thing to do is go to Google and we're going to try and get to the, um, uh, the pages where we need to download the software. Type in University of Brighton, here we are, it's popped up here, universityofbrighton.googlepages.com slash me110. Here we are um, and we're doing task three, topic three. So scroll down this page to task three and um, so this is the bit uh, and you need to click onto the Dan Busters page which is the same same address but uh, Dan Busters on the end. So this is the page that describes task three. Everything is on this one page. Now down here there are three files that you need to put onto your W drive or if you're working at home you can put them onto into a folder any folder on your on your local computer and if you put them into the W drive on your university uh, uh, network um, it'll work on the internet but just to get them working you can put them into a folder on your local computer so those are the three files you need to download after you've downloaded them you will see there are three files in your folder one is called canvas um, .js it's a J uh, javascript file another one is called jquery again javascript file and the one that you're going to be editing is um, I've just called it dam0 which is a html document and this can be you know you can uh, this is the only one you're going to edit and you can make copies of it just copy it, paste it in. Um, I'm, I'm just going to rename it. Call it Dam One. So that's another website. Uh, um, so let's just make a copy of it. I'll call it Dam One. Um, Dam One. Now we need to edit it. So Dam Zero is the original. Dam One is my um, the new version. Now to edit it, you need to open it with um, any editor really, Notepad would do, WordPad would do, uh, Visual Studio 2010 is, is the probably the best one or you can edit it with Notepad++. If you haven't got any of these on your computer then you need to um, uh, download them. Now let's quickly show you how to get them. If you want to download Notepad++ just type in, go to Google, type in Notepad++ and there we are, that's the one, download that one and it'll, it's free of charge and it will work on your on uh, on your home computer. If you want to download um, Visual Studio for your home computer there's a free version that Microsoft do uh, called Visual Studio Express. So click on that one Visual Studio Express, Visual Studio 2010 Express Express means it's free So here we are, Visual Studio 2010 Express. There's different versions, and um, yet get the one that says Visual Web Developer, Visual Web Developer Express. Click on that, and just install it. Okay, so we've now installed um, our, our uh, editor. Um, and you can now open this with um, Visual Studio 2010. Open it. And that's what we see. That is our web document. And uh, if you want to see what that looks like on the web page, that's Dan one we've opened. Um, I can either go File, Browse with. Um, Google Chrome. There you are, that shows you what it looks like. I'll keep that web page open. Uh, the other way of doing it was to um, just double click on that one. If you double click on that, you come up with the same web page. So let's keep these two pages open. And uh, basically, um, all this is is two 
two rectangles. You've got a black one and a yellow one. The black one is that one, and the yellow one is that one. Um, now, the what these numbers here mean? That's the x coordinate of the top left hand corner. That's the that's the y coordinate of the top left hand corner, and that's the width and that's the height. So, um, just to make this a little bit clearer, the x coordinate of the top left hand corner of a rectangle is this distance here, that's 200. The zero zeros and top left, so top left is the origin. Unlike um, uh, engineering drawings where you're probably used to zero zero being bottom left. So top left for, for graphics, computer graphics. 200 is that distance. 100 is the distance from the top. From the top. So there we are. Um, we have 200 here, um, and um, 100 is the uh, is the y value, and the width of the rectangle is 300, and the height of the rectangle is 300. So there we have it. The first parameter is the x value. Second parameter is the y value. 100. Third parameter is the width, and the fourth parameter is the height. Okay, so let's try changing this. Let's make the um let's turn it into a red rectangle. So type in red. And then we save it by pressing this button. And then you come across to the web page and reload it. And now we have a red recta red rectangle. Let's move the position, let's move it closer to the left hand axis. So I'll make the X position say fifty. Save it reload that and it's moved it across. Now now we've got that working, let's try and um, uh, get familiar with the uh, with the coordinate system. Now just have a go at trying to build this um, this uh, uh, flag with four different colors so they all join up. So um, just to show you how to get started, let's copy that Double that line. Let's put. I put three of them in. Be careful to keep this um, closing bracket at the end. Every line has got to end with a, um, a semicolon, and be of, of this format. So you have to make the height of that 100, width of it 100. Keep them. Make it 200 actually wide. 100 high, 200 wide. That's the X. Mm. Um, you'll have to work this out. If I put 300 in there and 100 here, maybe 200 there, and you have a quick look at what happens. Come over to here, reload it. Let's change the colours. Let's put yellow, green, save it, reload it. You can see what we're doing here. So try and work your way towards getting um, the flag shown in this diagram, and then uh, hopefully, um, um, yeah, you'll then understand the uh, the coordinate system, and then we can uh, try something new.